All right, so you just signed up for the Ronin tier and you're wondering what in the world is the NBA Study Hub and how do I use it? All right, so the first thing you can do, is scroll down to the bottom, you want to select which site you're going to be playing on. If you're coming here just for the projections and you plan on uploading it into your optimizer, by all means, you can come in here, grab this. You can highlight the first two columns if you're only looking for a name and projections. You don't care about ratings or ownerships or a proprietary blend of uh, Sims models that we have. You could just do this. Highlight, control, shift, down arrow. It grabs the entire row. Copy it drop it into your own optimizer, hopefully our partner at Fancy Cruncher. So let's say I'm looking at DraftKings for the night. And I am first going to kind of go over what we're looking at. Far left, name, DK salary. This is the amount of money that their salary either rose or dropped, meaning Tyler Hero was $6,700 last slate, and he's gone up $600 in price to $7,300. If you sort by this column, you can often see people who have gotten these massive price increases, like Precious Achiwa went up all $1,300 after he went bonkers last game. Or you can see who's had the biggest price decreases. Often this is a good way to find if there's any players that might be of value, especially if it's somebody coming off injury and they're getting the start. You can sort by position, team, opponent, DVP, uh, how many days rest they're on, what time the game starts, and then here's our proprietary rating system. This is an overall showing of how good of a play is it. If you look at last night and you're watching this real time on the 15th of January, Christian Wood went off for almost, I think, a little over 50 points at 7,700, and he was a 114, jumping off the scales. Tyler Hero had an average game. Sabonis played well. LaMelo Ball went off for, I think, 8 or 9x value last night. So it works. These are pretty good. Now you've got the DK projections tab you can use as well. Uh, projected minutes. We do project the minutes out. We think those are extremely important. Uh, value is based on the points per dollar. Okay, so whatever their points per dollar is based on their salary and their projection. So you can look at their overall value. Sterling Brown was our best value on the slate last night. He scored 41 points on DraftKings. J Jay Sean Tate was our third highest, and I believe he scored 35. And Ben McLemore just didn't get the minutes. Didn't get there. You can look at a floor ceiling. We have floor ceiling Sims model here, and this is extremely helpful when you're comparing floor and ceiling versus people. We have their fancy points per minute here. You can sort it like this, and it'll just kind of show you how it goes. If you ever want to adjust something, like let's say you're getting these dashes, these are people who are just, you know, they're not there. They're not playing that night. They're out, so we take away all their data. You can go like this. If you go into the filter button at the bottom, so I click this little arrow, and I want to remove all these people. All right, I'm going to scroll down here. Here's this dash mark. I click dash. Boom. Okay, they're all gone now. Now I have only active players for the night. The rise and fall categories. These are showing you, again, there's three people. I don't want them to show up. I could go to the filter and filter these three blanks out. These, This shows you their probability of hitting 5.5 times their value. This is a great way to look at building a cash lineup. You can usually grab the top two or three and just go. So Sterling Brown, Max Struess was a hit or miss. You had to look at it in a whole uh, projection base. So you're looking at a guy with 24 minutes, not somebody using cash. So even though the Sims model's on it, Get off it, right? So top two guys would have been Sterling Brown, Jay Sean Tate. Third highest was Christian Wood. Say you had uh, started with those three and you locked them in when you're building your lineup, great. You're ready to rock and roll. That's a great cash game lineup. This is their probability of not hitting 5.5 times value. So you can see this is a great way to build cash. And I think personally, it's a good way to build small single entry lineups. Here's our projected ownerships. So you can see what the projected ownerships are. This is the Vegas trends, and here's where you do all your research. This is the Vegas area. You can look at the total. You can look at the team total. You can look at the spread, their average, and then their average of uh, against the total. So, or their implied team total, I should say. All right, let's keep moving here. Uh, team pace versus the opponent pace. So you can try to find pace up spots if there's a certain team that's going to be playing in a very fast-paced game compared to normal. They'll have you know a few more possessions. Looking at a team like Jokic, you know uh, Denver might have had a few more possessions last night. Uh, you can look at their opponents and how they've done against those opponents. So Jokic last game scored 46 against the Warriors. That's how you'd read this. You could look at how have they done the last three games against that team. Oh, wow, okay. 
So Joel Embiid has dominated Miami in the last three games and scored 60.6 points. But last game he scored 84. So that might skew the, the data. Same thing here with Damian Lillard. Went bonkers last time. Might skew the three-game average. So you have to take this in stride. Now, here's where the Sims model and the trend stuff comes into play. This is the rest of the sheet. You're looking at fancy point trends. This is how many points they've scored in their last game, in their last three. So you're looking for hot players? You can come to this right here. You could just do a quick little list, sort how many points they've scored over the last five games, and then make a player pool based off, well, who's hot? Who's hot? Who's not? Who's been doing well over seven games? All right. There, I've sorted seven games, and over the last 10 games, you can look at who are the best players. Wow, CJ McCollum coming in there at third. On DraftKings, he was just 8.4K. Might have been a fantastic option. We didn't even see it. Minutes trends. You can see how many minutes are they playing as of late. Same thing. You can look at uh, anybody who's been getting you know, increased opportunity means they have increased opportunity to score points. Opportunity equals points in fantasy. So, Malcolm Brogdon playing the most minutes out of the entire player pool for last night. Averaging 39 minutes a game over his last seven games. And this is how you can look at this. Usage trend. Well, what is their usage? So you have somebody maybe who's hot, maybe playing a ton of minutes, and usage is off the charts. All right, That's a really cool way to look at it. Someone like Jokic, last five games, 57 points. Average uh, minutes, 34 per game. And his usage, a little over 30%. So that is phenomenal. Then you can go to their value scores, and it shows what they need to score to hit 5x value. So at their current price point, Joel Embiid last night at 10K needed to score 50. This is a nice math one for us, to score 5x value. So this is good for you if you are using that. But here's what I think is most important. Sims model. This is our simulation model. This is run, I don't know, 5,000 times or something, uh, whatever it is. But Guys like Gabe Vincent last night, this is why he actually showed up in my personal building block. So I put up on my on the website last night, he was in my DraftKings building blocks, and it was basically because of this. And Sterling Brown, Vincent, Jay Sean Tate, Christian Wood, I should have put I should have put the rest of them in there. I think I had Vincent Brown, Chris Boucher, who went off for 48 points. And then I try to get I try to get a little tricky here and, and pivot off Wood to Pascal Siakam. Siakam scored 37, but Wood scored 51. Oops, should have listened to the other coaches. But you can see how I kind of use this to make my player pools. Now, all sorts of stuff up here for the filters. If you want to research a specific game, you can look at the game itself by just clicking this filter. Okay, now I'm looking at only Miami. All right, well, let me check this off. I want to clear that filter and look at a different thing. All right, cool. Uh, I'm going to research Golden State for a little bit. Okay, I can go research Golden State itself. And then same thing. I want a different team. X this off. You want to research only a few teams? Well, you can click on like Denver. Hold on to the control button. And now you can click all these different things you want. Let go of the control button. And boom, there you go. These five stayed off. These five stayed on. Again, you want to clear it? Clear it. Okay, you're coming in here to make a late late slate game. Uh, you're doing like uh, you know the two-game Late slate, whatever it's called. Click on the 10 p.m. game slot, and there you go, my friends. You can do research for just the 10 o'clock slate with these four teams. You want to look at certain positions? I only want centers. Or I only want centers and power forwards and centers. Remember, I held on the control button and clicked, and I can click multiple tabs. There. Now I can research only those. This also is helpful to show discrepancies in ratings. You can click off the filter if you don't want it. There you go. That is how you use the NBA Study Hub. We have all sorts of data, all sorts of content, all sorts of goodies. Make sure you check up on the new additions on the NBA content tab as we are rehauling the way this all is formatted. So it'll be extremely helpful for you. If you did watch this to the end, lucky you, use promo 5OFF. That's what you get for being patient and watching the video. Promo 5OFF will give you $5 off your first month on the Ronin tier, which makes us just $24.99, and you end up getting $20 to use on Fancy Cruncher as we are partnered with them. This is an all-access, all-sports pass, all sports up top here. All-access means you get every single tool, you get every single tool for every sport, and you get content for everything as well. I'll see you on the inside, my friends. Together we rise.